Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Evelyn and in case you're new here, Karibu Sana. Merry Merry Christmas. So today I'm going to show you how to make uji wangano and let's jump right straight to the video. So now we are going to start off with our ingredients and this you're going to use three tablespoons of wheat flour. Then you're going to use one teaspoon of cardamom or iliki. Here we have sugar, three tablespoons. I'm going to use this coconut cream powder, kara coconut cream powder. Then we're going to use wheat. This is the real wheat, ngano or ngano, the ngano seeds, as you can see. So first we're going So first we are going to wash our wheat, this ngano. After washing it, very clean. Now we are going to put it in our tutorial and boil it until it's very soft. Add in a cup of water. So we are going to put it and let it boil until it's very soft. Now in this sadas furia, we are going to add two cups of water. Then we're going to put our wheat flour. And mix it in well until it dissolves. So here I'm mixing it first before I put it on the fire so that it doesn't form these lumps. So I just have to make sure that the wheat flour has really dissolved in the water before I put it on the fire. As you can see all the lumps have dissolved and so now we are going to put it on the fire. So on this other side our wheat is getting ready and as you can see here they have started to break out. You can see that they are forming the whitish thing that it's already ready and now it's breaking out. So here now we are going to put in our mixture of wheat flour and water on the fire and we are going to stir it continuously until it thickens up. Please guys make sure that you don't leave it to settle down because it's going to form some lumps so just stir it continuously until it forms a thick paste like this. After it has thickened up go ahead and add in your 3 tablespoons of sugar. Mix it together, then we are going to add in our wheat seeds or rawangano. Then we'll mix everything together and let them boil 
for 10 to 15 minutes. Guys, let me tell you, this Uji is power filled with nutrients and those who have reached the coast or Mombasa and you have tested this porridge, you can testify and let me know in the comment section how your experience with the Uji was, how you found it to be, was it sweet, did you like it or not? Kindly let me know in the comment section. After adding in your cardamom or riliki, now we are going to add in our mixture of coconut. That's the coconut powder, we dissolved it in warm water. So you just put it in your uji, mix them together, then we are going to let it boil for 10 to 15 minutes and our porridge will be ready. If you're loving this recipe, kindly give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, hit the bell icon so that whenever I post new videos, you can get notified. Here our porridge is ready, serve it hot and enjoy it with your family and friends.
you so much guys for watching and I really appreciate your love and support and if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe hit the bell icon so that whenever I post new videos you can get notified and until we meet on our next video bye bye guys